getting up in the morning, planning and executing our routes in order to get to work on time, organizing the workday, and thinking about what we're going to have for dinner, is for most of us part of our daily, rather mundane and routine activities. In psychological terms, this is a part of our cognitive behavior, the ability to pay attention, keep things in your head, make decisions, plan, and see that what we plan gets done. But there are those who can't manage this and can't get their everyday lives to function properly. And it's this group of people that brain scientist Marie Carlin is interested in. It's unknown that cognition is changed in a series of psychiatric disorders such as schizophrenia, autism, ADHD, and there are currently very few effective treatments available. And we need to understand the brain better in order to understand what we need to treat. Our brain constantly sifts through all the information it receives via multiple senses, decides which information is relevant, and then acts according to its conclusion. But exactly how the brain converts stimuli into logical information and then comes up with appropriate actions, we do not know. From the roughly 100 billion neurons in our brain, Maria wants to identify the cells and brain areas that are key to cognition in order to help those who suffer from these cognitive impairments. The few hours she has to herself, Marie prefers to spend boxing. This is a sport which also personifies her, high endurance, relentless, and goal-oriented. Although it may seem like Marie's time in the boxing ring is completely unrelated to her work and research, there is still a link between them. What I like most with the boxing is that I need to constantly be focused, I need to pay attention, but I also need to develop strategies and uh, remember what I have learned. And this is also what we study in the lab. We study the cognitive processes like attention, decision-making, planning. And it's at the Karolinska Institute that Marie has her lab. Här har vi köket. Och här sitter vi och skivar hjärnorna. Det här är optiska fibrer som vi använder för att utföra optgenetiken. Så den här fibern kopplas i ena änden till en laser och i andra änden den går helt enkelt in i hjärnan. Och beroende på vad experiment man ska göra så kan man använda en fiber då av en specifik dimension. Så de har olika diameter beror på hur stor hjärnområde du vill belysa helt enkelt. It's with the help of laser beams that Marie is studying different nerve cells functions. A method called optogenetics, where light is used to turn off and on selected neurons in the brains of animals performing cognitive operations. Optogenetics makes it possible to see direct effects on behavior. Optogenetics have in a short time created a revolution in the studies of the brain because we have for the first time the possibility to manipulate the selected cells and networks in the brain from the outside and provide direct evidence for how these cells and networks are responsible for our behaviors. And this has not been possible before. Och nu ska vi manipulera de här cellerna som vi tror är viktiga för uppmärksamhet. The studies are performed on rats and mice because their brains and ours are constructed in essentially the same manner. So the results can be inferred for understanding human brain function. The specific cells Marie wants to study can be manipulated by two types of light-sensitive proteins that respond to different wavelengths of light. Using a blue laser, she activates the first type of protein, which causes neurons to send an impulse, which in turn activates other neurons. The second protein responds to a yellow laser, but contrarily, it inhibits neuron impulses. Using this technique, groups of cells and sections of the brain can be turned off and on. 
In one experiment for examining which neurons are necessary for paying attention, mice are rewarded if they succeed in identifying which hole a lamp is lit in. If Marie's theory is correct, the neurons they are examining will cause the animal's attention to deteriorate if the nerve cell's activities are being inhibited by the yellow laser and improve if the cells are activated by the blue laser beam. Later in the lab, they analyze the results of the tests and the mice's brains are examined. Här så har vi mikroskop som vi sen då när vi har skivat och monterat hjärnan så fotograferas den och går igenom för att se att Allt ser rätt ut och att vi har studerat och manipulerat rätt celler helt enkelt. Så det vet man inte för en gärna har hamnat här och allting är helt avslutat. Marie continues her work toward the goal of identifying the neurons which are responsible for our cognitive processes. The long-term goal, however, is to take this even further. Marie hopes that the knowledge they gain will lead to new, improved treatments for diseases concerning abnormal cognition. My long-term goal is to identify cells that are targets for new and improved treatments in psychiatric disorders. <laughs>